So I have with me Daniel Zappelli, Attorney General Geneva, and uh, I'll be putting a few questions to him. Uh, did you receive anything, anything from the Pakistan government regarding the regarding reopening of cases against President Asif Zardari? Any request? Uh, well, I, I received uh, finally I received a fax, a telecopy. Okay. With no official stamps. Um, well, I suppose it's a request, uh, but it's, it's difficult to say. Uh, usually when we receive a, a request from a state to another state, it goes through the embassy of this state, um, and uh, we receive letters with the official stamps, if I can say. Okay. Well, I received something written government of Pakistan, but it uh, doesn't look too official. I suppose it is, but I, I've got no clue. So I would love to receive uh, uh, something else rather than by fax uh -huh. uh, from um, the officials from the state to uh, another state like Switzerland. Uh, uh, if I may call you like Zippelli, is it all right or should I call you Daniel? Um, no, my name, my family name is Zappelli. Okay, so you want me to call you Daniel, right? Uh, no, you can call me uh, Mr. Zappelli. It's, uh, okay. it's correct. Okay, I can call you Zappelli. Zappelli, uh, can you tell me what does this, uh, this fax state? What does it say? The fax which you have received, what, did, what does it say? It says to reopen the case in, in three... Uh, um, pages and uh, to uh, to revive all status of, of Pakistan. That's what it says. Um, but it's not very precise uh, why. It just says that uh, it based it's based on, on a decision uh, taken or ordinance uh, taken by the uh, the Supreme Court, uh, but. Um, there's no annex with it uh, because I suppose I received that only by uh, fax. So it's very difficult. It's a it's an incomplete request by telecopy. That's uh, all I can tell you. Okay. Okay. Once the cases have been closed, can they can those cases be reopened? If a request is made from one country to another, like from Pakistan, if a request is made to your country or you, can you reopen the cases against uh, President Asif Zardari? Uh, theoretically speaking, uh, yes, but there is a big problem, uh, which is a legal problem uh, due to the immunity of, uh, of your president. Okay. According to international rules, um, Switzerland applies, um, any chief of state, mm. prime minister, or any minister of foreign affairs of any country enjoy, enjoys absolute immunity. This is, uh, it goes even further. This is what the international okay. rules This is the international say. law, right? Yeah. Okay. So, period, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so then do you think that this exercise which is going on, like you have received an incomplete fax with no stamps, with nothing written on it that is, it's from the government of Pakistan or like from any other uh, department, does it mention any department on this fax? Well, it mentions uh, National Accountability Bureau mm -hmm. with an address and... Um, uh, this is it. But, uh, you know, I, I would prefer to answer uh, to, uh, to an official um, agency or, or government mm. when I receive a letter uh, with, uh, with all the annexes uh, which are indicated in the, in the letter. Mm. So it's a, <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's a bit, it's difficult for me to an answer uh, based on that type of document. Okay. Okay. You said that this is a law that the, the head of state, any head of state cannot be like tried, like President Zardari is a head of state and he enjoys immunity. So when, yeah. the, when the cases were closed, 
that was like uh, they were like uh, he was not the head of state no absolutely not so when the cases were closed he was not the head of state and then again they were uh, they were forced by some attorney general of pakistan like malik ayub and the, uh, the, these cases were closed is there any provision in swiss law that these cases can be opened with this uh, previous you know a uh, uh, previous example that these cases were going on and these were closed unnecessarily and these should not have been closed uh, is there any provision that they 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 can be reopened again any provision it's not a question of provision it's a question of facts hmm. um the, the the if a case is closed because we don't have enough evidence hmm. to go further then we close the case uh if new evidence is provided uh, then uh, it's always possible to reopen a case at my level let's say uh fact is uh, that the uh, former attorney general of pakistan sent me through the uh, embassy of pakistan in switzerland a letter stating that in pakistan the attribution of uh, the contracts uh, to um uh, pre shipment inspection uh, companies were done in accordance to your uh, pakistani rules mm -hmm. in good faith by uh, civil servants uh, or functionaries who did their job without being influenced that's what was written to me so in that case um well uh, it's difficult to go further okay so it would, it's not enough to say um uh, please reopen the case hmm. what sh would be necessary if there was no immunity uh, regarding your president uh to provide me with the uh, evidence uh, and uh, explanation why the, the previous explanation of the former um attorney general uh was right or wrong hmm. 